welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome 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 so in today's video we are going to be diving into the cultural impact of the cheetah girls i wear prada or no 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 so let's get into it the 2003 cheetah girls film was based on the book series with the same name title by deborah gregory the cheetah girl centers around 14 girls in manhattan new york city aqua Galleria, Chanel, and Dorinda who dream of making it big in the music industry. The freshmen audition for their school talent show, hoping to become the first freshman in history of the school to win the talent show. Auditioning with my favorite song, Cinderella. I don't care how old I am, I will forever sing along and do the choreo with them, okay? <laughs> the Cheetah Girls was Disney Channel's first original movie that was a musical, creating the blueprint and paving the way for movies such as High School Musical, Camp Rock, and many more. The Cheetah Girls was one of the first multi-ethnic groups to come out of the Disney Channel. The massive success of the Cheetah Girls allowed not only one, but three films to be produced. Three nationwide tours and over 11 million records worldwide beaten out even some of the biggest artists at the time and are some of the biggest songs of Disney Channel and anthems still till this day. Deborah stated that the inspiration behind Cheetah Girls was Destiny's Child and had the legendary icon Whitney Houston alongside to help produce the film who, by the way, also co-produced the Princess Diaries 1 and 2. The movie inspired young girls around the world with the film due to its diversity and inclusion. And those sentiments were made clear with the song Amigas Cheetahs. No matter when we come from, we can be ourselves and still be one. I still get chills when she starts the song off acapella style. <laughs> the movie was definitely ahead of its time. There were girls of different sizes, backgrounds, there were interracial relationships, and showed young girls what it is to be a good friend and uplift one another instead of the competitive mean girl nature that most female lead movies tend to go in. The franchise displayed a positive representation of diverse characters without being forceful and just flowing naturally as well as some complex backgrounds, while also breaking stereotypes. The minorities came from well-off backgrounds, while Dorinda, who is Caucasian, is a part of the foster care system and had to work harder for things she wanted. My real mom, she didn't want me. And I'm a foster child, and I live here with 10 other kids. <laughs> the film showcased perseverance and determination when it came to obtaining your goals and your dreams. Something that I would also like to add when it comes to the Cheetah Girls is that a lot of people have been asking for a remake of the film and in my personal opinion, I just think it should be left alone. I think some shows and movies do not need remakes or reboots. Just leave well enough alone. I mean, it's iconic. It's a part of our childhood. I personally don't really like reboots or remakes. I just feel that reboots and remakes sometimes are just a money grab and it's not about the show or movie per se but more about a quick cash grab just like that atrocious monstrosity of gossip girl it was horrible <laughs> gossip girl the new gossip girl was a hot mess so i am not a fan of any reboots or remake now back to the cheetah girls the cheetah girls 2 directed by kenny ortega who also directed high school musical hocus pocus michael jackson's this is it and so many more incredible films broke records on Disney Channel at that time, bringing in 8.1 million views, beating out High School Musical and previously highest rated Disney Channel original movie, Cadet Kelly. So many watch parties were held for the premiere of The Cheetah Girls 2 and I definitely had a sleepover watch party. I had a sleepover watch party with my cousins and friends. It was a huge part of our childhood. The movie also showcased the importance of healthy friendships that sometimes may have bumps in the road, but in the end, that friendship, love, and respect for one another is what brings you together. And those slight bumps in the road 
that help to bring a stronger bond while not being toxic and growing together with one another. I don't know about you guys, but when they sing It's Over, that scene will always make me emotional. As well as the beginning of when they sing Cheetah Sisters in the first movie. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but old school Disney would just evoke so many emotions out of you. Like, why are me and my friends sitting in the middle of the floor eating popcorn, crying over a Disney Channel movie? It was so dramatic, but I think it was just the golden age of Disney and they definitely do not make Disney channels the way they used to anymore. Or even Disney shows for that matter. But that is it. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure your notification bells are on, as Prince would say, so that you're notified when I upload. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Hey.